Okay, now let's look at geometric series using logarithms. Okay, so even with the geometric series questions, you need to know your log rules very well because the questions require you to use them. So when you're doing a question related to geometric series, so basically when you're using the sum formula, you need to apply some log rule when you have something that looks like this. So this is the sum rule, isn't it? A R N minus one over R minus one. If that is equal to some value P, then I'm just going to multiply this side by r minus 1, so I have p times r minus 1, and then divided by a, so I have p times r minus 1 over a, and then this side we're just left with r to the power of n minus 1. Now, simply, I'm just going to move negative 1 over to the other side, so I have p r minus 1 over a plus 1, and this side I'm just left with r to the power of n. Now, this is the stage when we're using the log rule. Remember, we want to solve for n, then n becomes the subject, and that's equal to log, the r goes down as the base, and then this whole thing goes after the log. Okay, so basically guys, again we're using this rule here, ax equals to b, then x equals to log a, b. Okay, so in this case, this b is this big bunch here that the whole thing is b so that's why we put the whole thing after the log okay and the r just goes down as a little base okay basically we're using this rule again so I hope you're um, familiarized with it even if you haven't known um, very well about it before okay so this is our log rule I'm going to try to use this into our questions okay so have a look at that Okay, and now we might go on to some questions using some log rules. So, let's have a look at question 14. Find the number of terms if 9 plus 18 plus 36 plus blah 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 equals to 1143. Okay, so this time they actually give us what the value of the summation is. It's going to be 1143. Our job is to tell, um, find the number of terms in this series that make a sum of this okay so guys have a look at the series first of all decide what your a is and what your r is okay what your first term is and what your common ratio is so I hope you can see that the first term is going to be 9 okay the first one on the list so a is 9 and what's r r is simply 2 because 9 times 2 is 18 18 times 2 is 36 so therefore the common ratio must be 2. Okay, so we know what a is, we know what r is, we don't know what n is, that's what we're going to find, okay, because it says find the number of terms. So what I'm going to do, put all these values into our sum formula, just like this. So a which is 9 times r which is 2, so 2 to the power of n, okay, so we're going to put it in terms of n because we need to solve for n. So it's going to be 2 to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1, r is 2, so 2 minus 1. And this whole thing equals to 1143 because this is a sum and they give us what the sum is. Okay, now let's solve it. Solve for n. So I'm just going to go like this. So 2n minus 1 is basically 1143 divided by 9 because look, 2 minus 1 is simply 1. So we don't really need to worry about that. So 1,143 times 1 is just 1,143 and then divide it by 9. So on this side we're left with 2n minus 1. Okay? And then now just move 1 over to the other side. So we have 1,143 over 9 plus 1. Simplify that guys, you should get 128. Alright, just simplify it. You should calculate it if you need to. It should be 128. Okay? Now guys, 128 is 2 to the power of 7, isn't it? Right? I don't know, put it sometimes if you don't really know. Just do some trial and error with your calculator, okay? Just plug some numbers. Try 2 to the power of 6, 2 to the power of 8, or 2 to the power of 7. You should see that 2 to the power of 7 is 128. Now the reason why I want it to be 2 to the power of something is because the base of this is 2. Okay? So that's why I want this to be 2 to the power of something. So if the base is the same, that means the indices must also be the same. So therefore, n is 7. Okay, see how they're both 2? 
So therefore, n must be equal to 7. Okay, the indices must be equal. So n equals to 7, so therefore, there are 7 terms. Okay, guys? Basically, that's the answer. There are 7 terms. Uh, there are 7 terms in this series that make a sum of 1,143. Now, you're probably wondering why we didn't use any logs. Well, this one was pretty simple because we can change this into 2 to the power of 7. But say, for example, if you just want to do 2n equals 228, Okay, this is this one, 2n equals 128. Now you can use your log rules if you want to. If you don't want to change it around like this, you can just use your log rules like this. So n is going to be log, 2 goes down, and then 128. So this will be your value for n. Okay, so other way is fine, guys. You can go ahead and use your log rules if you want to. Okay, if you don't really want to, f if you don't think you can find out what 2 to the power of what is makes 128. Okay, but I really think in this case, this would be a more simpler way, because see how it, we just got the answer in a few steps? Because this one, you'll have to have a bit more steps, because look, we can't find what log 2 is, right? So we'll have to go ahead and do that fraction thing again. We'll probably have to go log, I'm going to make a base of 10, log 10, 128 over log 10, 2. And you'll have to put this into your calculator. Okay, but still, this way is perfectly fine, guys. You can use your log rules if you, and but I prefer to using this one if you can't make this 2 to the power of something. Okay, if you can't, if this, if this is 2 to the power of something, nothing, then I'd go for the log rules like this, okay? Either way, you'll get the same answer, okay? So if you did use your log, logs, this would be your case okay this will be all working out so have a look at that guys that's question 14 basically there are seven terms that make a sum of 1143